What's up, guys? Nick here with a brand new episode of Sunset Overdrive. Last episode, we uh, got the parts for the stiff, and now the parts, the uh, part for the stiff, and now we need to go talk to Walker. Or Walter, sorry, I'm thinking of my dog Walker because I'm playing a character named Toby, who's my cat. <laughs> I was playing a little bit of uh, TMNT by myself for once. Not for once. It's the second time I played it. And I realized in the first level you can actually grind on rails and stuff. But I didn't figure that out until the second level. So I'm like, okay. Oh, I'm over here. Okay. Still playing as Toby, though. What's up, sir? What's up? I've been working my ass off to repair this thing, then you go behind my back and make a new propeller. You looking to steal my glider? No, it wasn't like that. I... I'm fucking with you, kid. <laughs> Asshole. Ha ha. It's a fine propeller. Can you see me one? The only problem is, few minutes ago... If y'all see something pop up on my screen, I'm downloading discs. I them off, but like two discs, at, not at a time, but wheel. one after Sounds another. Made up. Well, installing. How about you make I say don't look. Wait to get install. it back. And hurry. Those scabs will be back soon. I'll wait here. Well, apparently the propeller was good enough. He has it up there. All right. Use the glider to escape I the city. The the Down by the waterfront. I know the game's nowhere close to being over. Uh, I thought I can just do this. There we go. Yeehaw, son! That's some cola! It's cola mole! What's up, sirs? The madams? Yeah. Don't know if you're all dudes or girls. Where the glide wheel is. It says badge awarded. There's the glide wheel. Glider wheel, really? I better get back to Walter before he has a stroke, or something else. Old people get and then die. Fuck that hurt. Woo! Are we going back to him already? Huh? Oh! Yes, sir. Just a few more. Yeah. That shit so happens. Oh. Jose. I'm joking. Oh, it's Walter. Now, when I first did the glider in this game, I almost died. Or I actually did die, like, several times. Uh oh. Fizco rifle bots. Rifle bots! A more power. Shoot him in a dick. I think it's their weapon actually damages them the most. Yeah, this doesn't do that much damage. Level up! More ammo and damage. Oh, yeah. Ammo. 
Oh, almost got away with that. What's up, Dick? And now back to him. Can you actually do something yet? Wee! Getting launched in the air like that. So. Flight to the brewery. Got to make sure to hit these updrafts. If you don't hit the up drives, you will crash. Give him a try. Like literally, it'll just fall straight to the ground. Follow that ship. What is that? That's a Fisco patrol ship, and I need your glider and is alerting Fisco reinforcements. You guys will be shot down for sure if you try to escape now. Who is this? It's Sam, and you guys are in big trouble. What do we do, Sam? You can't shoot it down. It's got shields, but uh, maybe... Maybe what, Sam? Uh, oh, sorry, I was checking Reddit. Follow the patrol I was checking Reddit. Wow. The city to my location. I can upload a virus to it and take out the shields, but you gotta get pretty close. And I gotta code the virus first. Okay, we'll follow the ship. I like how you just have to follow it now. It's like, okay, do this, and then we'll, we'll keep going. There's the there's the notification I was talking about. Uh oh. So it was Call of Duty. I used to like Black Ops 3. Sold it in another game at one time just to try and get some to get something different. I'm like, okay, I didn't like that game. I really didn't. Yeah, the mines could be a nuisance. Trees! Time here. I'm now, but There's the no draft. Really okay. I was kind of worried there for a second. I'm like, oh shit. Patrol, so your power thing down. slowly Is drains. Ready? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think so. Uh, I've only ever written viruses for government websites, never anything like this. Wait a sec. I'm reloading. Yeah, this section can be a little bit long just from the fact that you have to, like, just glide across. Yeah, the red ones go after you, the black ones stay right there. Try not to make it so dramatic by being so fucking slow. Also, that's water. My pleasure. Just don't Shit. forget about me. I mean, 
us. Don't worry, we'll send help. Oh hell no, I'm forgetting about you, dude. You were taking all the credit for all the shit I did for y'all. Oh lord. Go. We're gonna make it. Hold up a Jesus. You can see through my helmet. <laughs> Uh oh. What? Why? It's too late. No! Ah! <laughs> Invisible wall. Son of a bitch. They have like a little funeral or something, I think. We'll miss you. You cranky motherfucker. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Floyd. Just wish I could have saved him. Best thing you can do is keep being yourself. Keep that swagger going. Cool? Keep that swagger yeah. soon. Hey, Walter talked about this guy named Brill Cream. Says he was the smartest guy around. You find that guy, Brill Cream. I bet he'll figure out how to escape name. the city. Brill Cream? What kind of a name is that? One that's easy to remember, I guess. Anyway, Walter said there was ham radio signals coming from a Japanese museum nearby. Might be him. You should check it out. All right, sir. Got me some steel. Now we're going to Little Tokyo. Hey, I bet you're wondering how Walter and I ended up together. I just assumed you were twin brothers. So many similarities. If y'all hear my stomach growling, I apologize. I doubt you can, but I haven't eaten since like was it, 12 and it's 6, so that's a normal time for me to start feeling hungry. Just nothing at the house, waiting for dinner, you know, stuff like that. Motherfucker that way, and I loved him for it. He and I talked about you a lot. Uh oh my god. Are you really doing just grind everywhere? Well, there's something special about you. But it's buried beneath a whole lot of wise ass. Oh gee whiz, thanks for the revelation, Freud. I just proved your point, didn't I? Like I said, man, I don't judge people, just their actions. <laughs> My point is, don't let you get in the way of yourself. Did you just cook up a philosopher amp or something? Probably won't make it across. Yeah. Almost. Almost. <laughs> that was me being lazy. It's like, I'm just gonna jump over and over again. Yeah. Little Tokyo. I really should stop the Peter Griffin laugh. It's like, go to Little Tokyo, and I'm here, not where I need to be. I got that toilet paper? Yeah. So, this Brill Cream, he's a lifelong scouting expert and troop leader. He and his senior troop were marching in the parade during the overcharge party, and I guess they all got chased to the Japanese museum. What do you mean, senior troop? These aren't all little kids roasting marshmallows and tying knots. They're older. More focus on life skills, volunteering, yeah, these the old conservations, and shit like that. So basically, the anti-me. Hey, you said it, not me. Basically, anti-me. Yeah. Designs. Nice. We're trying to get on this. Here we go. Wee, I got a shoe. Hello. He's 
inside. They have this big ass thing right here and they sleep in tents. What is wrong with them? Locked. I will not be defeated by a locked door. Plan B, to the roof. Can I bounce off the houses? Or the tents? I'm a ninja yeah. breaking into a Japanese museum. Said to the roof. That's not the roof. Tsuruboshiro! <laughs> you get in here? I'm looking for a guy named Brill Cream. Troop Master Brill Cream is... Missing. Well, maybe I can help you find... BS meter. Maybe you'll be lucky if I let you live. Kind of a dick, huh? Kind of a dick, huh? Yep. <laughs> Arrest for Kim and banish her from the troop. Chill out, Mussolini. I am the troop master. And Chill out, Mussolini. Oh, man, are you gonna tell me where Brill Cream is or what? You want Not find for Brill Kim. Cream? You must do as I say. Yay! All right, let's look at what kind of stuff they have. I really don't. I don't know if I should start a new episode, another uh, mission or not. It might take a little long. Uh, see what you got. Cadet hat. <laughs> that looks so stupid. Panda. That looks like blood. Come here, some earphones. phones. Can't see it. Oh lord. It'd be funny if I can find uh, this with a shirt underneath, but I don't know if you can have a shirt on. Oh yeah, oh, that's underwear. Eh. I'll probably end up sticking with what I got. Floyd shirt. You wear boxing gloves. I think I'll put the wraps on. I adore that piece. I can't wait to see you in it. Considering taking off the mask, too. I like the wraps on them. It looks kind of cool. Uh, if they had some kind of dress pants, that'd be great. Not that. It's like a freaking clown pants. They have these in black. Not really. My feet disappeared for a second. That looks so weird. Dress shoes. Put some dress shoes on. Why not? Look at style. It's utterly you. Pitchfork or a bat? Hmm, I wonder. Pitchfork. Wow. Rastaman! The Marauder. He has no clothes on. All he has is like... That stiff. I didn't know I received new ones. Take this off real quick. Oh, the mat. That hat really speaks to your frugality. Oh, it's just 
regular makeup. Never mind. Put that back on. The Have other you been taking parts don't even matter. Jack. Uh, I think that'll be good. Alright, thank you all for watching this episode of Sunset Overdrive. Next episode, we're going to go on whatever mission this douche has. So thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Justin.